Aryan would have directed Shah Rukh sir. How comfortable you would have been? I would have. I have been in that uh, zone. I was very very comfortable. If someone comes to me, sir, I have seen all your films. Your film is man. I want to work with you. That's all. I will sign them. That's all my secret of signing. He was loving me like anything, so I have to give it back with a great love. So I always used to say, "Sir, how much I love you, you will only know when the film releases." Actually, it's so wonderful to have you on Film Companion. Uh, this show is called Post Mortem, so we're going to deep dive into Jawan. Uh, spoiler alert! Please don't be shouting at me later. This is a going to be an in-depth conversation. Firstly, big congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank What you. have the last few days been like? It's been like uh, uh, if you go to God and if you wish for something that happens, then you will be very thankful. No, so my mind is very thankful to the audience and uh, Red Chilies, Gauri Ma'am, Sharukh Sir, and my technicians. I'm very thankful to everyone who stood by me to make this film and. Uh, As I wished, everything went really well, and I'm happy. You call this film a elephant pregnancy, yeah, <laughs> because it took so long. Yeah, yeah. What was the hardest part about it? Not only me, for uh, the entire world, uh, uh, unprecedented uh, lockdowns and COVID were really playing a major role in their plans of life. So, uh, when I wrote the script, uh, of course, I always uh, go for a grand year. And uh, large number of extras and big action sequence. So once I wrote and I narrated to sir, uh, he was happy. Then I, I asked forty forty five days to develop and come back. So then I uh, came back. It was locked down. Then I gave a narration. Uh, when I gave narration, I had an assistant. Oh, the world is going. World is going to turn to everyone. I don't know how it's going to take place. I, I was I was really unsure. Like everyone. So sir said, "Superb, sir. Let's do it." Then uh, he greenlighted the project with uh, Magnum Opus uh, uh, requirements and stuff. But uh, I don't want to shoot with the protocols watch what was there, mm. because then it is concising the film into a different world in which Khans are also didn't want to do it in that time. So we waited. We really waited to uh, all the protocols get open and uh, go on a full. Full throttle, full on mass action zone. So the waiting period was there. Yeah, of course it was there, but it's nobody's. Uh, it's a nature call. We have yeah. to. Yeah. But you wrote the film for Shah Rukh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I am a person. Uh, I just want to meet, spend time with someone whom I am going to work next. Mm. Then uh, I will read them. I will see their films. We will have a discussion chart of do's and do nots. What they have done, what we have to do new, we will do all these stuff. Then only we take a white sheet and start our love letters to them. <laughs> you know, love letter is the perfect way to yeah. describe it yeah. because I think I feel like you really love your heroes. Yeah, that's my job. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. you you uh, make them sort of super heroic. Yeah. uh you know in other films honestly even big star cast movies the hero gets one hero entry right in your films the heroes again and again like yeah. every second yeah. sequence will be like something heroic yeah. 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 slow motion yeah. glasses will come off yeah. uh, where does this grand love for heroes come from see uh my father is a mgr sir's fan follower So when I was in my childhood, uh, he used to talk about Mars always. So uh, I started following his films. So his films were uh, not very uh, 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 intellectual zones, but it was very commercial and very. Uh, you will have some responsibility take home. Mm. It was a different grammar, but when you see Shivaji sir's film, it will be little intellectual and it will be. Uh, very emotionally uh, written, very performance oriented. M J Sir had a different route, mm. so I learned from there. Then after that, when I was uh, a youngster who goes to theatre, uh, there was Kamal Sir and Rajni Sir. So Rajni Sir was exactly taking the blueprint of uh, 
M J sir, uh, in terms of mass scaling uh, and positioning a film, uh, Kamal sir was doing in a different way where he takes the cinema to the global level. So I I got this basic blueprint from there. Then I started implementing in my uh, cinema world. So day one I uh, see I'm a very basic person. I don't have. Uh, I don't. I don't know much in life. Also, I. I can. I can be very honest on it. There are much better writers and much better directors than me. I know that personally. I know that. But I. I am very basic person. I can only go with the basic elements. Uh, if uh, if I see someone in road of something, I will tear. Mm. Uh, if I uh, see something to clap, if a small kid on a stage dances, I will clap first because I am very instinctive and I am basic. so i know myself very well mm. so i don't want to go all out and do something which i am not so i want to do what i am so i'm a very basic person so i want to give the basicness to everyone that's why i think uh, fortunately things are falling in my place people are loving my scenes of course there will be critically said this is not a brilliant scene this is a usual scene we have seen that's okay i'm aware of it i'm not a person i don't know about it no i know i'm very 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 aware of it that's okay but my audience they expect this from me and uh, my uh, audience are giving back as a reviews and box office mm-hmm. until then it is reflecting i think god is driving me right <laughs> but tell me this you love your heroes so much that one is never enough right in the last three films you've made you've had double triple is is that because you just want to see them more yeah see i first become their fan uh loyal fan uh loyal fans are fans who really say if the film is not right it's not right so i become a loyal fan first to the actor and in the monitor i do the fan job uh, if the shot is not right i will be very honest sir it's not working mm. and i know how to uh I I I can see how the fans want to see them, so I see them in a such a way. So, for an instance, uh, Shah Rukh sir' hairstyle uh, of his thirty years is something else. Yeah. Uh, even in my school times, I went to salon and I've said Shah Rukh cut. So uh, his hair is the most iconic of him, but I want to go him to a bald zone. Yeah. I ask for him to do a bald zone. Uh, of course, he has played father. I think one or two films. but this father he has never done so i try something which his fans really want to see in a new avatar and uh, yeah i am basically in one word if i have to answer i become their loyal fan first so that i will never take them to a wrong route but the fan in you you're saying does not stop you from criticizing a performance or saying this is not yeah. good enough a loyal fan should be very loyal to the actors and if you love your mother you have to be loyal to your mother mm. if your mother is wrong or if your brother is wrong if your family is wrong something is wrong of course with heart with a love heart you say it's wrong so that is why the word as loyalty so i i am a loyal fan <laughs> so what you're saying is can you can you make a film with an actor you're not a fan of Whomever I'm going to work, I will become their fan first because I have That's to. That's that you have to do. Yeah, without love, there is no nothing in the world. So, see, my job is not a math or a business or a, a business max formula to it. Yeah. My craft is about love. If I don't love something, I can't creatively produce. Yeah. So I have to fall in love. If 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 I like a girl, I can't just marry. I have to fall in love with her. So. if i'm making a film with someone it's not about only the hero even the producer even the producer even you the have technician. to fall in love with everyone yeah yeah of course because see <clears throat> the world is driven by love mm. without love everything will be mechanical if i turn one time mechanical i won't be in this path yeah. so i will be very honest to the work and i will try to be honesty comes through love only so uh, if i'm going to work with someone i take real time whether i can match whether i can really love them is it really i have a take away from them mm. uh, am i going to learn from them uh, is is he a right person for me so of course of course i i, I have a business math to it 
uh, in a love angle, not uh, a box office angle. Yeah, okay, I'm going to work with him. Uh, okay, does he give respect back? Mm -hmm. Does he uh, really wants to work with me? See, if someone comes to me, Sir, I've seen all your films. Your film is mad. I want to work with you. That's all. I will sign them. That's all my secret of signing. So if someone comes, I'll pay you this much. One, uh, you get it in single check. I have said no to a lot of people. I know. You can't buy me, but you can love me. I can love you back. That's all. So, without love, I can't create anything. Mm -hmm. And not me. I think any creator without love, they can't create it. Yeah. yeah. So, in the three films before Jawan, the big love was, of course, Superstar Vijay, right? Mm. Uh, you said it was almost like you had gone into a comfort zone, right? Mm. Because you're making films with him in Tamil, which were very successful. What did you have to do and how hard was it in the beginning for you to get out of this comfort zone to make a film for another actor in another language, in another film culture? See, <clears throat> at a point I was feeling myself, uh, what to say, whatever I asked, I got mm. in my home ground. Uh, I think I gave the biggest uh, box office films there as per trade talk. But uh, at a point I felt, okay, what I'm going to do next. So again, maybe I would have done with Vijay sir. And uh, at a point, uh, Vijay sir, me, Priya, we were in a... Uh, uh, discussion, basic discussion that time. So, uh, I told him that uh, I had a call from Shah Rukh sir. He said, yeah, this time uh, you have to work with him. Uh, this is a bigger game. It's a bigger uh, uh, chance for you to prove yourself. And uh, somehow try and push yourself. Don't try to be in the same comfort and just break the comfort and come. And Priya also, after going, driving home, she said, uh, see, the growth only app happens when you come out of your comfort zone and yeah. take a risk in life. Yeah. So we have to, and this is a time. Okay, that's okay. If we don't, it doesn't work for us. We will start from the scratch. That's not a worry. I'm the person behind you. I'm saying just go for it. So these backbones pu really pushed me. Then um, Were I didn't. Were you scared? No, the the welcome part from cancer was something else. Yeah. Yeah. So it was something like. Uh, yeah, of course, he's a man of uh, love heart and he really welcomed us like, uh, he was loving me like anything. So I have to give it back with a great love. So I always used to say, sir, how much I love you, you will only know when the film releases. <laughs> he knows, but as a joke, I always used to say, sir, I know, sir, I know, sir, he used to say. So I think uh, I didn't have any discomfort working uh, when I crossed my comfort zone. The only my mindset was uh, whether I'm taking a risk or I'm taking a correct call, I had. But when I came here, when I came to Bombay, when I met Shah Rukh sir, when I started working with him, I didn't have any difference. I just uh, worked with the same technician, same team which I worked on my previous film. Um, Shah Rukh sir actually, you have to ask this question whether he was comfortable <laughs> working with us. <laughs> Because we were talking in Tamil, we were talking in Telugu, Malayalam, so he was just... Uh, but he is a king by himself, I know that. And uh, he was enjoying the process. He was just going behind everyone and saying, let's do it, let's do it, let's, we, will, we will make it. So actually, I think I was very, very comfortable. I didn't have any... I'm not just saying for the sake of an interview mm. also. If I felt, I would have said yes. I had some. But I was like... I was in... Uh, as if... Uh, if uh, Aryan would have directed Shah Rukh sir, how comfortable you would have been, I would have, I have been in that uh, zone. I was very, very comfortable. Tell me, but so you don't understand Hindi, right? No, till now, no. <laughs> so, when you're directing a film, which is so much about, let's say, dialogue delivery, right? How, how a particular line, how that bete or bapala line lands, correct, but you don't know the language. So you're communicating in English and then the performance is in Hindi. How do you know ki, I got it? See, a film is not uh, bounded by languages for sure. It, uh, it doesn't have, you can't restrict films by languages. Uh, I used to sing Hindi song. 
I don't know Hindi. Uh, you must have sung some Tamil songs. You don't know Tamil. Yeah. But it is something, something by nature you know the rhythm. Okay. So uh, even we uh, uh, in my childhood when I was not so familiar with that much of an English, Hollywood English, but I liked the Titanic. I don't think language is a barrier. And not you, even to directing. No, 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 not at all. So maybe I can direct a Spanish film next. How lovely! I can, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. See, it is not a. See, you, if you know the game, uh, if in cricket, if you know Hindi, you can play well. Anyone can say cricket yeah. is a different game. Mm-hmm. Of course, of course, the calls, uh, the communications might have a little uh, spaced out, but that's okay. You know the heart. If you, if Dhoni sees, uh, Dhoni sir sees, people will move to the angle. That's all. Ashwin might be from, doesn't know Hindi, but he can move. So it's like that. I think, I personally think language cannot concise cinema. Uh, I have not done for the first time. I think a lot of uh, big personalities and directors has done before. Um, as you asked uh, how the dialogue punctuations, I know the rhythm, I know the beat. So, uh, I, all the dialogues, all the mother script was written in Tamil. Mm. So, we exactly changed to Hindi. So, we know where the beats and where the beat is going off also. Sometimes Kansa says, no sir, in Tamil it works really fine, but in Hindi if it comes, it has to go in this way. Uh, sir, in Hindi if it, this time it is fine, but in Tamil it is going in that way. So, we can read each other. So, I think uh, we had a very uh, easy time on languages. We mm. didn't have... Uh, Okay, am I going out of the zone? I was, I know, yeah, it's my game. The rhythm is fine. Shot is okay. Dialogue is perfect. So let's do the second part of the dialogue in close-up. So it was within. Hmm. You know, um, also with, of course, the monologue, which has become such a such a talking point. So there also, you could sense from the rhythm that this is fine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't know music. But I instruct Ani how to do music. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've instructed Rahman sir how to do music. But see, we don't know. But why they are listening to us? Yeah. Of course, Rahman sir is a genius. Ani is a genius. Yeah. Of course, the action directors. Shahrukh sir is a genius. Yeah. He knows what is acting. Why is listening to a director? A director comes with a rhythm. Our job is to come with a rhythm and get the rhythm right. So. I don't know music, I don't know Sarigama, I don't know nothing, but I can ask what I want. So that's my craft. So you have to trust me that <laughs> we can get that. So that's how we have made this film. Yeah, yeah. You know, what fascinates me about your films is also how much story there is. I saw your short film, which is on YouTube. and the Why did you see that? <laughs> Because I'm, I'm interested okay, okay, in your okay. cinema. Uh, and no, I was just joking. It's a good one. Yeah. It is yeah. a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, those first five, seven minutes are so surprising. It goes into a place that I never imagined. Then it goes somewhere else. Then it goes somewhere else. And you've continued to do that. There is just your narrative is so dense. There's so much story, which can also become like for me, when I was watching Jawan, at times I said, wait, wait, let me soak in this emotion. Yeah. Too then much to digest. Too much. Okay. Mm. How do you write so much? Because we have a lot of taste uh, uh, audience. So I'm not a, maybe I can only talk about my writing and my narrative. So I'm always uh, think about uh, certain people will love the father daughter portion. Mm. Certain people will love the action portion. Certain people will love the emotional portion. So something you will take home. So in any ways, the ensembleity will make you feel satisfied. So that is my rhythm. So I strongly believe in it. Uh, I need multiple stories. I need multiple plots to make a film. Mm. See, for example, uh, certain films are like, uh, I, I generally in a discussion, we used to have a discussion. Uh, if you go to a carnival, a uh, village carnival, you will have giant wheel, you will have uh, big dosas happening, you will have this, this. Something the other will g- keep you engaging. End of the day when you come out, yeah, superb. It was very entertaining. So that is our job. That is my job. 
so my film should give a good entertainment and when you go back you have to have little responsibility yeah i've learned something from this of course it's overall it should entertain this is my uh, mandate and uh, principle on making a film so that's why i have to write lot to make one film i can't come with a single plot for the daughter's story for 2 hours maybe i'll get exhausted oh, no it's not my rhythm so that is my narrative pattern so so your hope is that because there are so many stories some story will connect with you see every story has connected me yeah every plot has connected me without a conviction i just i don't keep a ensemble uh, collage in a film so every part has worked for me sure. without a conviction i won't come up yeah but i feel certain people will not uh, uh, up to certain things and they will like certain things so so, you, so you want to please everyone yeah 6 to 60 <laughs> that's your mantra yeah so certain people will love uh, uh, mass opening song certain people will say what is this then they will love chaliya certain people will love farata yeah. uh, certain people will love oh what a emotional song ari ro so yeah we have to give a ensemble uh, entertaining uh, platter in a plate so that's that's why <laughs> tell me how you design the hero entries see my film always i start my writing on uh, hero in character hero in character yeah So no that, that was your question right no i'm saying the hero entry how do you oh sorry ha huh, how do you design your hero entry like sharuk standing in bandages on that mountain see basically i'm a very spiritual person so everyone when you go to a temple where you have lot of crowd you wait in a queue in the early morning and you build it up okay it's next it's next it's next suddenly when you go with full aarti tak 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 so you get one goose bump and you get oh wow so that's a rhythm mm. that is a rhythm where uh, you have to make little weight and you have to lead a build up and you have to show them so that is the heroism to me that is my basic iq understanding mm. so you have to wait you have to make weight and you have to show and you have to show in a very uh, grandier way with lighting music and it should really be a goosebump shot so that's how i design all my introduction shots and i will have uh, 25 to 30 introduction shots in my film and i will have uh, another character coming into a film in the middle then it will have another 20 25 <laughs> <laughs> shot then i'm okay yeah then my round is ready ready let's go <laughs> good to go chief no i'm not joking seriously i'm just saying this is how i i get satisfied i get you're uh, happy yeah yeah absolutely it should make me happy absolutely. i can't make something which is not making me happy but at least where do these ideas come from because they're so fantastical right because okay we've seen we've seen vikram rathore on top of that mountain then we see vikram rathore just before interval uh, coming in with that that weapon you think okay now vikram has got enough hero moments but no then there's that lorry ka chase when vikram rathore is on a mo bike on top of your head yeah. i was like oh my god it's just it like never stops how do you keep coming up with ways to introduce heroes i don't i don't know i'm just doing what i love i but don't where does it come from you're sitting with a piece of paper and it just comes to that's you? me that, that is me actually that is my heart ha huh. so for an uh, example uh, last week uh, uh, when the film released uh, the people who worked on our film were from hollywood spiro yeah and some uh, great directors and technicians as well so been in the same screening uh, so spiro said i have done this action so they asked spiro who has done that uh, as you asked that one and the flame coming yeah so it was director's vision and he executed those things so, of course i those parts i executed so they immediately uh, connected with me they said uh, if you want to work with in hollywood you let us know so it is not a taste which is very desi it is something superheroic mm. and uh, it has a it has a 
very basic rhythm not a very uh, new rhythm uh, when when someone is in trouble you pray to god god please come please come mm. if the god comes what is your feeling you right. get wow about it mm. so these are my minor uh, uh, formulas to execute these things okay the girl is in trouble her headphone falls down now she is going to go under the wheel who is going to come no one is there come on ajay is driving come on fly woo that's all finished you are clapping i am clapping i am happy you are happy everyone is happy and you get a call from hollywood and saying wow we have not seen this oh my god i thought only uh, it is uh, it's a idea which only works for us yeah globally it is working so i think i think cinema is it's a it's a magical medium yeah. uh if you uh, work very honestly with your ideas let the ideas be very uh, how to call it uh non logical or uh, something not very intelligent but if you put your heart and soul and make it better and better and give a class note to it in execution i think it's going to work mm. so you can will anybody can hold a plane no but superman has hold it and i have clapped in a the theater so i got those essence from there also mm. so my idea is when someone is in trouble bring the god so that's my hero is <laughs> Where do you write? Is there a place in your house? Is there like a time when you like to write? See, I uh, actually after a film gets over, I get to go to lot of theater visits. I really read the people. I don't read. Of course, I read reviews, and I don't go only by reviews or uh, my friends saying the film is nice, my family saying film is nice. I go to theater. I silently go. stand near a edge where i really read okay this place they are clapping yeah clapping super why not clapping okay i go to another theater ah here they are clapping why they are not clapping there what is the difference okay this place surprisingly everyone is clapping for this dialogue oh, what it is so i do a complete math after a film gets over mm. and it will go it should go out of the theater then we used to sit with the team and analyze what is our film why it worked what worked what didn't work okay then uh, we go for two months we put all our phone off and uh, we just go either abroad my favorite place is amsterdam mm. so i used to go there and uh, sit with my friends and my writers uh, and we write something else we write a lot of papers and we come with a lot of ideas and we come down then fortunately my office people will align certain meetings with certain people so there are these meetings they have asked for these meetings so i go some meeting will get clicked then we will start working on a hero and that's how we the, the the writing is not detailed scripts the writing is ideas yeah see we i don't repeat my genres mm. first thing mm. so that's why i am not very keen in making uh, any of the repetitive genre of mine so i try another genre So now, what is the val volume we can go on execution? So we decide those things, and we come with a scratch idea. We don't come with a bound. Right. So two months we go, we uh, do lot of uh, idea throwing, and we come, we register the scripts. Uh, S W A. We just mail and register mm -hmm. the scripts and keep it ready. When correct people come, when the correct volume of producer come on those kind of, ex if the expectation match, we mm -hmm. make it a bound. So you said that you don't want to repeat genres, but at least the one thing that is in almost all your films is the flashback. Yeah. Right. The at least flashback is now a signature. Why? And and truthfully, it is. It's the most emotionally uh, resonant part of many of your films. You know, the the in Marcel and Bigel in in of course in Jawan the Deepika Padukone part is just it's where you really my heart sort of came out. what is the fascination with the flashback as a leave creator leave writer leave director as a person what do you cherish you cherish about your memories yeah. so when you think about what has happened in your life it is always interesting to sit and think for 10 minutes my god i have gone through this so oh, wow how our life so it is a attractive nature by uh, 
brain science mm. <clears throat> psychological science if you think about your past or something it is a good zone you are in mm. so always a flashback a memory is always a good zone to narrate and what is the best part for a director like writer like me you can switch off all your uh, ongoing questions and you can start a new life new background new story and you take them to a new world yeah so when you go to a new world and that is also not easy by stopping because we have uh, planting something very interesting for uh, almost one third of the well, one uh, almost uh, 60% of the film mm -hmm. you invest on a story and you go back to a new world it's very difficult also but if you give a right connection between the present and the past flashback it gives a amazing narrative mm -hmm. and it has worked for a lot of uh, directors lot of big films so i i uh, always believe in that too and uh, first i write the flashback of a film really yeah that's how i start i write with the heroine so always all my flashbacks will have the heroine as a strongest character all my films are heroines are strongest character if you see they don't yeah. uh, just come and go so i start with a very strong emotional plot and then i start doing the present so that's why i i feel that is working for me till now and uh, hopefully it should work in the future also but of course yeah now it has become like uh, sir uh, in this flashback you going to kill deepika some people asked me yeah. before the release okay no the reason yeah what would be the reason is intriguing them yeah. that's okay but maybe i will change a little bit in the next i i understood okay they are expecting this so i will do something about it in the next for to make it little different, different. yeah <laughs> well you know two of my favorite scenes uh, was of course in 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 marcel when she's dying inside and he's telling his young son about how they met uh, it was just so moving and that cutting between those two sequences and he's praising her and she's dying and he doesn't know that she's dying i thought that was so beautifully done and in bigel when when you know the father rayapan is actually attacked and and he comes he jumps down from the train but the football also falls i thought that was so yeah that said so much yeah yeah you know without without saying where do these kind of ideas come from do you once you've started writing is it on paper or are you creating on set see 90% uh, things are on paper 10% sometimes uh, uh, when the ambi is said when in shooting you get those things but i learned these craft from balachandra sir you see balachandra sir suddenly people will be talking he will go to a, a toy which is on a table and he will express it mm. so cinema is a visual medium so you shouldn't you should reduce dialogue you can't be saying everything in dialogue yeah so uh, i got the craft from bharat raja sir balachandra sir i learned those craft from them and uh, as you asked the flashback of mersel which was happened to me really uh, my mother uh, uh, went to a, a, a normal delivery but it turned to be a cesarean and the baby didn't uh, the baby was died and uh, my mother was in uh, icu for 4 5 months later so it was a very traumatic experience when i was a very mm. small boy so it so it, that comes from life yeah so that came from life mm. and uh, rayapan thing is cinematical experience i love my father so uh, i write all father characters in a very emotional strong way that's mm. why rayapan is standing out vetri maran character is standing out of mersal and vikram rathore is standing out yeah i'm uh, it is very emotionally connected within me so that, that's why it comes as a writing you know how do you decide at least how much violence because you want to appeal from 6 to 60 right how do you decide that this much violence is okay for 6 to 60 because there's some yeah, you know yeah, you right. kill a lot of children in jawan even a dog is shot uh, i was like oh god is nothing sacred even the dog's gone <laughs> <laughs> so how do you decide that this much violence is okay and i, I shouldn't push it beyond this see violence is uh, defined by the way it is being shown on the screen and uh, uh, 
uh, it should create an impact, but it should not be gory. That mm. is my evaluation. Some people will go for another level. Some people will go for a very subsided level. Yeah. It depends on the genre and the pain you have to give on to the audience. I'm a big dog lover. So, uh, yeah, of course, is the uh, puppy name was uh, Bunty. It was amazing to act. Yeah, if we uh, go to him, say, lie down, he will lie down. <laughs> so, he was amazing. And yeah, it was very painful for me to see in visual. Yeah. As a narrative, we are trying to give uh, very hard hitting scenes. Of course, uh, yeah, we have an evaluation that 6 to 60 are watching. A film is very, very, uh, in the public forum, it has to uh, connect the audience. People should not hide their faces when yeah. they see it. So I measure it really well. And uh, I didn't have in any of my film, even uh, Mersel, when the pregnancy, the belly has to be cut, it has to be cut, it has to be shown. I think certain, uh, without injection, you can't cure a fever. So sometimes injections are okay. Until if it, uh, it, is, it has a reason and responsibility, that is okay. Mm. I feel as a writer. And how do you decide how much slow motion to use? Because you use it a lot. Uh, what sort of convinces you, okay, right here and right here and right here? More than a match, you like a replay. Why? <laughs> so you want to see it once again in a slow mo. So it's a mood. It's, it's, see, uh, certain things has to be fast, mm. certain cuts. So slow motion is uh, uh, not a new short division that I cracked it. A lot of, of people course. does that. Yeah. But I have a different aesthetics to it. And uh, whenever I, have, I want to punctuate it, I punctuate it in a phantom. So I think phantom will be always there in my film. My cameraman goes really, oh my God, phantom shot. Because phantom shots are, they will have a little problem on lighting also. They have to light more to get it very slow. So Vishnu always, no, 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 no phantom. This one shot, no, 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 Vishnu. Please come on, take it. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a give and take, but it works for the audience and works for me very well. And yeah. I love, I love, I love, I love. Um, a film like this and all your other films as well, uh, at least have so much that I am assuming is constructed on the edit table, yeah. right? Yeah. Because your cross-cutting, your, your, your shots are not usually very long. They're very, very quick, quick, quick cuts. How do you work with Ruben? See, uh, a writing phase on a filmmaking uh, goes on different stages. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when you narrate, it might be great when you narrate the film. But when you see the film, oh my God, it is four hours. Oh, wow. Okay. How to get it? See, for mil filmmaking or a art, you don't have a math or a formula. If you do by formula and math, and it is not an art to me. So we write a lot. Of course, uh, Shahrukh sir used to say, "Sir, to, uh, you have written so much, sir. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. This much, this much." And then we come to alignment. Okay, we will have this, this. But when you are happy about, so I will say certain places. So should we go? No, no, sir. I love that part very much. So. It is like we are all making a film. Mm. So we are happy to make everything and put it on the edit table. Now the edit table is a one more writing phase. So that's where we specifically, precisely set a rhythm of a film. Okay, this is my rhythm of my film. So it should be fast. It shouldn't be jittery. It shouldn't be glitch. Uh, it should convey the emotion. And it should, so you have to see multiple times. Yeah. Like. Literally, I'm saying more than 1000 times, if you see only, you will get the rhythm. It is not by just saying, oh, wow, I don't know what to say wrong in it. It mm -hmm. works for everyone. Everyone can say that. But for an editor and a director, when they are together, they have to see the film at least 1000 times, at least to get the right rhythm. I think uh, out of all my films, I felt uh, Jawan was a very, very good rhythm mm -hmm. of edit because we have spent a very, very nice time. And thanks to Khan, sir, he gave us time. Um, so, it, it set the pace in, in, in a nice manner. I think uh, all the emotions has connected, all the slow motion starts, uh, shots were there. So, it was a good pace. Yeah, I'm happy about it. So, do you and, do you and Ruben, like, when you are editing, are you the, the director who's 
so in love with the material that you can't let it go or if he says this is not working let it go you're willing to do that uh, see first uh, i will sit like a uh, audience not a director i know you uh, can do that yeah you to, can disconnect from mm, your own yeah, yeah when i enter my room before entering room i'll be director i'll be scheduling i'll be doing this that so if i enter that room i will become a fan really i'll become a audience no 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 love hate nothing i know i would have uh, sweated a lot i would have walked for a kilometer to just place a camera there i would have uh, someone would have really put their heart and soul to make that shot i know that mm. i know that with a hot call only we take it but i don't put it at first it's a film so many people are working on this film i have to justify their work yeah. first i can't be very uh, uh partially uh, calculating okay this was a good shot it was lighted for 3 hours this was a cameraman shot no as a film it works or not mm-hmm. even my mass shots i have taken out yeah of course the most loved shots i have taken out so you have to sit as an audience then you will make a audience film otherwise you will give just what you feel but what you feel is not the film. you have to feel everyone there oh everyone is clapping here one beat if we reduce it, the clap will be right reduce it so it is it is a tough call uh, hard calls and tough call and lot of time ruben and me have uh, fought like anything like we are friends and we we uh, re- literally fight like anything in the editing room suddenly all my assistants will go out they will know okay there is going to be a fight so everyone will go out why everyone is going out no 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 you please discuss come on be here then it goes like whole night and we won't speak to each other for 2 3 days really yeah we won't speak then i'll tell okay play uh, i'll t- i'll call his assistant play tell them that, uh, tell him to play then he will play then it goes like that then um, he will say no i told this this but finally after 3 days we both will come to alignment okay he is fighting for a reason yeah and he will understand i am fighting for a reason we are brothers actually i have only worked with uh, ruben yeah. so i have uh, no problem fighting with him and uh, he is an amazing editor so yeah you are you, it has to be like husband and wife thing you have to fight with your wife girlfriend oh no, this is right no that is right so this, this. we come to alignment and make it for the better for the family right. better for the film then it's okay yeah so yeah it was a fun journey fun journey yeah you know actually one of the criticisms about you is is that elements from your film echo other films mm. right so so in in jawan if you know there is the the shot of wrestling with aishwarya and uh, vikram you know it's it goes back to marcel there's the red pill and the blue pill which might be the matrix then there's the bane character uh, who looks straight out of batman what is your response to that so i know i know yeah people will say that i know but i i am not taking from there see when uh, i know I, i i specifically i know i've done mercel mm. so i have a kusti scene in it so here there is a kusti scene i know that but that's okay it's my film that's okay but when it comes to other films uh, for example bain uh, see i want to cover a face in my film for a actor which i want to reveal him in next part or a next part whenever what mask i can go for so i have one half skull mask one bandage the full film is about mask only so i've gone for a mask which was designed by my pd that's all it was nice if they call me okay that's fine it's a good reference like i can go like that mm. so see in a process of creating things of course you will create something closer to something if the intention is same if i am doing the same thing then it is wrong right if it echoes that's okay until unless it's a good reference i'm okay mm. i know i i'm been uh, criticized for this for a very long time and i've been to court i have won the cases by honors by merit so that's okay i know i see i told you from the beginning i go by basic i don't have a intellectual brain i'm not a very brainy writer or a uh, i'm not a very uh, great director 
I am very simple. I know my craft this much. I am trying to create this much craft. Fortunately, God's blessing it is creating that much. I am happy. That's all. I know you said in many interviews that now you're taking four months off. Yeah. Right? Like yeah, this is yeah. now you're done and there's four months off. Can you completely disconnect or are you always thinking of stories? No. September 8th, I was sitting with uh, Priya. I was just asking what I'm going to do. So it starts the next day. Anna? So you can't sit alone. I you will can't. be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But my boy, Meer, uh, says, come on, come on, come on, sit next. He doesn't speak. He's seven months. His eye speaks to me saying that, come on, come on, don't go out, don't spend time outside. I am here. I am spending time with you. So, I am feeling little calm now. I am not very aggressive. I am very aggressive person. Okay, come on, next. Come team, come writing team, come this, come the Fly them here. Let's sit. It happens regularly. But uh, fortunately, this time I am being very calm. I am sitting with my boy. Uh, I think I am going to sit with him for the next four months. I am going to do some babysitting. I'm going to learn fatherhood now. I think this is a phase I can learn. Then once I start my next film, again, uh, the poor fellow will uh, be in the same state. So I want to be, uh, spend good time with them. I think uh, my next film is for him. So I'm going to uh, create something for his world. So that's what uh, today I felt. Come on, uh, when my next film comes, at least he should be two, three yeah. by the release. So, he should be happy about Dada's film. So, I have to make something for him. That's my <laughs> wish list now. Let's see who How comes, what comes. Yeah. When you see success of this nature, you know, when it's one, two, three, four, five, and each one is a bigger blockbuster, how do you uh, prevent yourself from becoming, you know, disconnected from what made you successful in the first place? See, success gives me good protection, first of all. And uh, it puts me in a very uh, nice state of mind. Because, uh, see, you can take success in however way you want. You can take it. I keep it very, very uh, personal to me. Uh, my happiness has been delivered in book as a bound. It has made one producer happy, one actor happy and all we came together with the happiness. And multiple technicians came for that happiness and we tried to make that happiness in spite of rain, sun, effort, sweat, bleed, whatever it is. But finally we made that happiness. The same happiness has reflected to audience and they are happy when they go out of the theatre. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what a job this is. My single room, my single sheet happiness is spreading so much of happiness across. Oh, wow. It's a great responsibility. And that keeps me a little uh, 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 pressurized. It's a good pressure. All pressures to just go up on you. Nothing to bring down. So this pressure makes me, okay, next I have to give much bigger. See, maybe I had uh, uh, in India, 20% people know me uh, before Jawan. Now at least 80-85% people should know me by Jawan. So now I have large number of audience and fans. And my next film, everyone is going to come and watch. I know that. So I am becoming very responsible. I am taking this success as a responsibility mm -hmm. to come with more happiness and spread love. So that's how I evaluate every film of mine. That's how I got this, uh, as you said, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm happy. I'm, I'm in a very uh, great cloud nine with the uh, most number of happy news in 2023. Meer, Jawan, yeah. It's going to keep going for sure, yeah. That's lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank and, you. And wishing you many good things. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much.